Hi guys, um, I just thought I'd do a tag get to know me better video. Um, yeah, so here we go. Uh, number one, how do you get your YouTube name? Um, simple, it's my name, my first bit, my second bit is my nickname that my husband's called me for 10 years. And the last bit is my year I was born. So, yeah. Number two, if you could change your name to anything, what would it be and why? Um, I don't think I would really. Um, I'd keep it to my own name, Natalie. There was only two of us in my year at school. So, yeah, I like my name. Thank you. Number three, if you could go back in time and give your younger self advice, what would it be and why? Um, don't take yourself too seriously. Um, there's a lot of pressure at you when you're at school and then when you go to college and university. So, um, excuse me a minute. So, so yeah, excuse me while I go on. I should just get my stuff. There's Charlie. Charlie, say hi. Hi, guys. There's my baby. There's my baby. Say hi. Um, yeah, don't take yourself too seriously, and whatever's meant to be will be. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Number four. How old were you when you first learnt to bow a bubble gum? Bubble. Mm, I don't know. Um, one thing is, when I was younger, my brother, who's older than me, five years older than me, blew this huge bubble gum bubble when I was a little rat back when I was younger. And he came up to me and showed me, and it was this big, and I went, bop, straight my finger, and it went straight over his head, the bubble gum. <laughs> and he had to have his hair shaved off. Just thought I'd share that bit with you. Um, number five, what do you want to be when you were little? Um, easy, hairdresser. Just loved hair, loved playing with hair, everything about hair, I used to do everyone's hair. That's how I knew I wanted to be a hairdresser, and I've grown. Um, number six, what do you order when you're at Starbucks? Probably the hot chocolate, I think, because if I have a coffee or a latte or a mocha, for some bizarre reason, whenever I drive home, I always feel sick. So, yeah, hot chocolate. Number seven, what is the hardest you've ever laughed? Um, probably when I met my husband. We had such a laugh. He's the love of my life, so he makes me laugh all the time. And my son, who's three years old, and he's got his own wicked personality at the moment. He's just wicked whatever he does. It cracks me up. My two favourite men in my life. Number eight, if you could play any musical instruments, what would it be and why? Well, I do play, and that's a saxophone. Number nine, what is your favourite thing to do when you're upset? Um stare at my son and sit in my house and think how lucky I am compared to other, you know, people in life and that they don't have much in other countries and yeah. Number 11, what one food could you not live without? It would have to be, I'm a carbs lover, so it would have to be bread or pasta or Chinese. Um, ba, 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 ba. number 12, what's your favourite dessert? Easy, profiteroles. Number 13, favourite pizza topping? Barbecue chicken. Number 14, what would, if you would rather have a superpower to read minds or a superpower to be invisible? Hmm, to be invisible. So I could just listen and be everywhere and see what people are really thinking and saying about me. Even though I don't really care. Um, number 15, what did you do on your last birthday? Um, it was a milestone birthday. Um, it was just a real chilled one actually with my family and a few friends. And yeah, no, that's all I wanted and that's all I've done. Number 16, if you had one personal selfish wish, what would it be and why? Um, personal selfish wish. Well, I've got a wish, but I don't know if it's selfish or not, or um, any of you guys know we've got a child who's three years old and he's my best baby, so 
if I could have a wish, I'd have a wish that I could fall pregnant naturally, and it's not going to help him. And I don't know if that's selfish or not of me. It's just a woman. You're born. That's what you want to do. You want to give birth and fall pregnant naturally, and I can't. So if I could have a wish, that would be to fall pregnant naturally. And last but not least, 17. What does O-N-G-H-H-K-P mean to you? Jack nothing. <laughs> really? So, um, I hope this video was okay for you, and the meeting of Charlie Chu, who is now sound asleep on the bed, um, yeah, hope you guys are well, and, um, yeah, take care. Bye.